Hello everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today's topic is my three top shoulder exercises for swimmers. Now swimming is a sport that puts a lot of strain on the shoulders due to its repetitive nature and therefore it's vital to make sure we've got a lot of mobility and a lot of strength within the joint. Today we're going to be looking at that strength and conditioning side and we're going to be going through my three favourite swimming shoulder exercises. The first exercise is looking at internal and external rotation. Now for this you're going to need a TheraBand or a stretch cord. People commonly ask how tough does it need to be? You're looking for a resistance that is on the end of being slightly too easy. This is because they're very small muscles and you really don't want to overdo it. So we're just looking for that little bit of fatigue but it's not overreaching. For external rotation, what you're wanting to do is you're wanting to have your hands out in front of you holding the TheraBand. All you want to do then is move your hands equally apart from each other but keeping your elbows locked into your side. For the second variation, what we're going to do is we're going to wrap it around something. I typically use a door handle, uh, but in this case I'm just using my treadmill and you're just going to slowly move that hand inwards, trying to keep that elbow locked into your side. For both of these exercises you're looking anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds and if you are new to these exercises I would say more towards the lower end because it doesn't take a lot to work these muscles. The second exercise is ball on the wall. For this you will need a hockey ball or a tennis ball and you are going to want to position yourself in front of a wall. Place your arm out in front of you making sure that you've got a straight line from your shoulder to your palm of your hand but you're not touching the wall. Place the ball in between the palm and the wall and slowly rotate your arm in a clockwise motion. Repeat this process in an anti-clockwise motion and repeat for the other side. Again for this exercise you're looking anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds per arm. It's a great way of activating all the little intricate muscles within the shoulder joint. The last exercise is doing rows. You can do this on TheraBands or TRX bands or you can even do this lying on your back and pulling up with a bar. What you want to do is have a nice tall posture for this exercise. You can either be standing or seated. Pull back with the bands, really trying to squeeze the shoulder blades together and return to the start position. For this exercise, I'd recommend anywhere from 20 to 40 seconds, looking for nice controlled motion. Make sure when you're doing this that you are nice and proud and pulling back and not punching over forward because you're defeating the point of the exercise. I hope you've enjoyed this video looking at my three top swimming strengthening exercises for the shoulders. The key with all these shoulder exercises is to start off small and slowly build. They're very small and intricate muscles and you don't want to be fatigue seeking. You want to finish the session feeling like you've done some work, but you could do more if you need to. If you've learned something in this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day.